Let's start the presentation on contactless CBM sensor by millimeter wave radar technology. As for session agenda. First, machine maintenance framework will be mentioned. Then, contactless vibration sensor will be introduced, that is new concept for vibration sensing. Machine maintenance frameworks. Two approaches are adopted in machine maintenance today. TBM, as no also time-based maintenance, that is traditional approach. There, maintenance staff takes ad hoc or periodic inspection. Basically, expendable parts are replaced with predefined lifetime regardless practical deterioration. CBM, as no also condition-based maintenance, that is new approach. There, condition monitoring system is required to capture specific sensor data ever. Expendable parts are only replaced with respect to the condition, where deterioration criteria should be defined with respect to sensor data. Through condition monitoring, predictive maintenance can be installed, where machine learning is being popular data analytic tool. According a few research reports, vibration sensing is the most popular technique for machine maintenance, and accelerometer is the most popular sensor today. In the case of rotation machine like motor, ISO standard criteria is usually used for vibration analysis. Looking into vibration analysis. Below 1 kHz vibration is used for imbalance and misalignment at axle. Over 1 kHz to a few 10 kHz vibrations is used for crack at bearings and cogs. Basically, higher frequency appears in early deterioration phase, and that's the reason why high frequency vibration is critical. And there is another trend in this application. Recently shrinking labor population is affecting maintenance quality particular in developed countries, and monitoring system is being expected as automated maintenance technique. As mentioned in last slide, accelerometer is the most popular sensor. However, users must be very careful of machine resonance, where battery mass and cabling may affect the resonance. And higher frequency sensor is very expensive like a few $1,000. If machine gets too high temperature like over 125 degrees C, then accelerometer is hard to be attached on the machine. Today I'd like to offer new concept for vibration sensing with millimeter wave radar technology. It makes contactless sensing over radar radio signals, that provides mechanical resonance free. Wideband vibration like 40 kHz can be measured. Since it's contactless, it can measure vibration for even high temperature machines. By the way, laser Doppler sensor is available as another contactless vibration sensor today, but it's very expensive system from thousands to over $10,000 likely. We adopted FMCW radar to detect small displacements, that is made from machine vibrations. Lower motor in this slide is moving by vibration, and it is a little bit closer than upper case, where the displacement would be sub-millimeter range. FMCW radar gets own TX and reflected RX signals then applies mixing to them for beat frequency. If we investigate the phase of beat frequency, phase is also moving due to the small displacement. Capturing the phase data and applying FFT, we get vibration frequency response eventually. By the way, sample rate for vibration sensing, it's equal to ramp to ramp period. ADI's millimeter wave radar transceiver ADAR690X can make 10s microseconds ramp speed, and higher frequency vibrations like 10s kHz can be measured. Overall data processing flow is described here. The radar sensor detects small vibration on machine as microdoppler. Received RF signal is captured as raw data at first. 
Then first FFT is applied to get range data as IF wave signals. After that, second FFT is applied to phase of IF wave signals, and we get displacement data at frequency response. Eventually displacement, velocity, and accelerometer are calculated as real-time waveform in the application software GUI. Here let me introduce contactless CBM sensor solution. The system is based on millimeter wave radar RF hardware and dedicated application software running on PC. The solution was provided by Sakura Tech Cooperation that is ADI Alliance partner, that came from joint development activity with Analog Devices Japan. Here is software GUI. Radar signal profiles for hardware settings. Displacement data including RMS, peak value, and crest factor ratio. Velocity and acceleration data as well as displacement. Vibration severity threshold can be specified by users as four level severity like ABCD. As for frequency response, maximum five peaks can be displayed. Right side of GUI. Time domain response and frequency domain response are displayed as waveform, that is real-time data. Hardware specifications are here. RF hardware is produced by Sakura Tech. It supports maximum 77 to 81 GHz as 4 GHz bandwidth that makes high range accuracy like a few centimeters. For machine vibration sensing, lens antenna was developed to make very narrow field of view, that provides spot sensing. ADI's ADAR690X is inside. ADAR690X can generate very high speed and high accuracy ramp signals, and the feature contributed system performance so much. ADAR690X is controlled by dedicated software API as a software-defined radio architecture, and it makes easy performance upgrade and customization in the future. Sakura Tech developed embedded radar signal processing IP for onboard SOC FPGA and it improved data processing throughput. Let's watch the demonstration. A company named IMV is a specialized manufacturer for vibration testing and measurement system, and they supported vibration test system for this demonstration. Their vibration generator M060MA1CE is making 2 kHz CW vibration and RF module is sensing the vibration. GUI shows displacement, velocity, and accelerometer, and time domain and frequency domain waveform are also displayed. Further demonstration is a measurement experiments to know the sensor capability to detect how much small displacement as sensor limitation. IMV supported vibration generator here again. The displacement will become smaller and smaller. 0.633 micron vibration amplitude, it shows good SNR to detect the peak. Zero point one two seven micron vibration amplitude, good SNR as well. Zero point zero five one micron, as fifty one nanometers vibration amplitude, still we got good SNR. 0.038 micron, as 38 nanometers vibration amplitude, peak got lower. Since a scale is 10 dB and the peak can be distinguished yet but reaching the limit. 
0.025 micron, as 25 nanometers vibration amplitude, we can see the peak at 2 kilohertz because we already know it, but SNR became less than 10 dB. Let's say, it will be hard to detect the peak in this case. Through the experiments, we got that the sensor has capability to detect about minimum 0.03 micron displacement in the case of frequency response. Here is the summary on contactless CBM sensor demonstration. ADI's ADAR690X contributed good sensor accuracy so much. Radar-based vibration sensing measures displacement and it's different from accelerometer. The sensor has capability to detect minimum 0.4 micron displacement as absolute accuracy and minimum 0.03 micron displacement in the case of frequency response. For your reference, 100G and 40 kHz vibration make 0.03 micron displacement. Commercial product is being available by Sakura Tech Cooperation. Appendix for your information. IF wave phase accuracy determines vibration sensor accuracy, and best in class performance of a DAR 690X ramp signal generator provides 0.4 degree accuracy that is equal to 0.4 micron displacement accuracy. Combinations of acceleration and vibration frequency determine vibration amplitude. This table shows how much displacement appears by some combinations.